Okay, guys. Uh, I hope you guys can uh, see us, and uh, and my voice is also clear. This is something uh, a new tool that we are trying today, just to come, you know, do a live streaming online. And uh, one second. Okay, is it uh, Sanjay? Can you hear me? Can you can? Yes, I, yes, I, I can hear. You. Okay. So let me check on YouTube as well. That uh, I think it's started on YouTube as well, and the, the streaming is coming. Yes, 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 yes. I can, I can, I can see that. Can see. <laughs> okay, perfect. So our logistics are working fine. We just need to start in one minute. Okay, so guys, uh, thanks a lot for joining. I know it's late, ten o'clock in in India, and it's quite late. But uh, we really didn't get time, <coughs> and uh, it was really difficult to get other time slots. And we really don't want to wait for the next weekend because something very interesting is uh, coming up from uh, Sanjay. And uh, I was in touch with Sanjay from last couple of months, where Sanjay was uh, working very hard on <coughs> on Selectors Herb tool. And we all know that okay, Sanjay is the uh, the founder and creator of uh, Selectors Hub, as well as uh, he was, he was uh, obviously main creator for uh, Kropath as well. And welcome Sanjay to Naveen Automation Labs. This is the I think uh, after Mukesh, this is the first time, second time I'm doing. And now with Manoj also we have done uh, one webinar. But I'm pretty much sure that okay, this is something uh, uh, very interesting is going to be happen today. And uh, so let me quickly like. Uh, I have a couple of questions uh, for you that uh, <clears throat> because a lot of people they want to know that how exactly you got this particular inspiration and what exactly the topic is all about for today. Let's start from where. What is the agenda for today? Because I, from my bucket, that okay, I really want to see what is your innovation, what is kind of work that you have done, what kind of uh, tools, technologies that you're working upon, what are new things are coming in the market from your side for Kropa then for uh, you know Selectors Hub point of view. So if you can give me, uh, give us a brief idea of what exactly you're doing, yeah. Uh, yes, Naveen. So uh, today we are, uh, today I'm going to talk about those problems which uh, we are living with. Like normally we can, normally our life is doing normal routine, good routine. Uh, mm -hmm. But we have to figure out, what, uh, I mean, we have to always figure out the problems. Like what are the problems? And then we have to invent or create something new. Normally, like okay, there was not selector stuff. Of course, we were able to work. Our work was going smooth, and everything was fine. Uh, I guess my voice is getting echo for everyone. Yeah, I think uh, your voice is getting a little echo. So maybe you do one thing that you just and just try to connect it again, or maybe from some different laptop if you have. Yeah. So. I think Sanjay, you are on mute now. Uh, uh, I'm not sure like why this echo is coming. coming. <laughs> Do you have any earphones or headphones? Maybe something like that. Uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Let me try one. Uh, that uh, that airport airport I try. Mm -hmm. Because I can hear you properly. I don't uh, get any guys, echo. Guys, yeah. yeah. Others are Other getting are echo. Getting echo. What about others? Like, guys, can you confirm now? It's still the same thing? Uh, it's still happening? It's still happening? Yes, yes. If, in fact, okay. I, I'm getting my echo. Is it while uh, sharing the. Uh, means so, do one thing that. Uh, we just. Uh, okay, we got disconnected. Let's. Uh, for my side, it's perfectly fine, right? Okay, let him come once again. <clears throat> I try to join again. Yeah. But still, I guess that people disabled. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Hello guys. Hello guys. Is so it, do you, still you ha, do one thing. You just uh, <clears throat> uh, keep your phone aside. Uh, yeah, uh, phone or maybe 
Yeah. Okay. <coughs> and you can check. Yeah, without without I mean, without I mean have you connected with two machines or something? Nothing is nothing is nothing okay. is connected. Is connected. Uh, have you opened your uh, the same YouTube also in some different app? No, 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 no. YouTube, nothing is open. <coughs> then 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 okay. What else I can try? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Guys, any edit? Edit? Okay. Anyone? Any guess? Like what would be the issue? See, that I one. really don't see any echo from your side. I mean, for me, it's perfectly fine. Can you check if your speaker is on? Yeah, my speaker is my speaker. I just connected with my earphone, so. Is it fine for you, Will? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What about others, guys? Uh, is it fine now, Sanjay? You say something. Now I think it's working. Okay, so I guess I will have to turn off my speaker. Okay, that's fine. Okay, some logistic issues. <laughs> This, this is better, better, right? Better. This is better, right? Perfect. It's is like it What about others? Uh, like, can you can yeah. anyone confirm? But in this case, I can't hear you, Naveen. So you do one thing. <laughs> Let's do one thing. Then um, maybe you. Uh, I call you on WhatsApp. Is it? Is it? No, no. no. Is you... it fine? Fine. Just confirm. Yeah, it's fine now. Mm. When the moment you connect with your uh, uh, airports, that's a problem. Can you call me on WhatsApp? Okay, I'll call you on WhatsApp. So let's let's do this way. Uh, Naveen, when I'm uh, like when I'm turning on my uh, system speaker, then it's, that echo is going. Else, it is fine. I guess now okay. it should be fine. You guys would, would be able to hear me proper. Okay, <clears throat> guys, you have to confirm. It's still echo. It's still echo. Now echo should not be there, right? Now should it should be fine. It is fine, I guess. I think uh... it should be fine for everyone. Naveen, whatever question. Is it? <clears throat> One minute. One minute. Is it fine now? I guess this is perfect. This is perfect. This would be fine. This would be fine. Okay, Mukesh, can you confirm? Fine, 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 fine. fine. <laughs> Naveen, whatever question you you are asking, can you please type? Type in the chat that that should be fine. Because I cannot hear you when I'm turning <coughs> okay. my speaker on. Then that issue is coming. So do one thing, Sanjay, that uh, connect with your phone. I'm calling. Fine. Fine. Okay. okay. Hello. Can you hear me now? Okay, then you use, use your phone now. <laughs> okay. That's okay, that's okay, no issues. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Sanjay, uh, is it uh, fine now? Uh, guys, I guess it should be fine. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. <coughs> Can you hear hear me now? Are you on mute or somewhere? No, no, I'm not on mute. Uh, I guess you guys should be able to hear me. Okay. Naveen, okay. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. 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 Okay, so after some this jugad or something that we have finally, <coughs> that's okay. It happens. It's okay. No worries, guys, because it's something very new thing. 
that we are uh, experience, experiencing in that uh, that's the culture of IT that whenever we are giving a demo right on the final day something something happens something that laptop happen. is not Even working and we have done the testing <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and automation is not working today anyways that's that's okay that is a, actually that is a part of the script today guys that is we really wanted yes. to play with you guys thank you uh, yeah <laughs> so the my question once again i'll repeat for the new audience that guys that first of all thanks for joining and uh, sanjay that uh, <clears throat> what is the agenda for today and we i have couple of questions uh, from yes. different people and uh, and uh, i would like to ask that those questions as well but first you tell me that what is the agenda for today what exactly you are going to cover <coughs> yeah so today we are going to solve the problems for uh, everyone and the problems like uh, like because we whenever we talk about the automation tool or any tool we always have that fear in mind that we will be uh, i mean we that situation is always there that we will lose that skills so we are going to solve a problem for forever that by solving our problems by using a tool or something we will be uh, learning more and we will not lose those skills and we we have something to announce for everyone which will be history for forever in it and whatever problems like from the beginnings uh, i will make you guys to realize that what were the uh, means what the problem you are going with you are living with but we are not solving those problems because man, i mean our life will be our, our life was running when the flight was not there when the aeroplane was not invented when bull was not invented but can we imagine our life without those uh, in inventions so similarly like we we are living with fine there is no issue without selectors up was also like everything was fine my previous innovation and uh, like rupath was there many other tools were there everything was fine but we have to figure out what were the problems with those innovations and what could be better so that's what we are going to talk about today correct 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 because yeah it's really difficult to convince uh, people <laughs> that uh, that you are going to you know uh, how to solve the pro people's problem especially in terms of automation and yeah i have already seen those uh, things and I, it's quite quite impressive <clears throat> and that's why like uh, we are live on navin automation labs because we never yeah. done any webinar for cropath on navin automation labs yes and i think true. and you know the reason why <laughs> why, why <laughs> yes, yes, we yes, could yes. not fact, make it yeah. anyways yeah. but yeah so first i would like to ask you that uh, are you like 100% working with the selectors of acropa are you working somewhere or you have you left your job or what is your current uh, working status uh, yes navin so uh, i left the job and i'm working full time on uh, full time for community i'm not working for any company uh, i'm working uh, full time on selectors hub so <laughs> thank you and uh, it's a free product i will not be joining i mean not joining any company but will be working full time only for community and i will be running on donations uh, from the everyone so yeah mm -hmm. so like what motivates you like uh, or maybe you are like uh, financially very strong or uh, or maybe i mean i know it's something personal <laughs> but it's something really i i would like to be motivated from you that okay what exactly it's uh, who is motivating yeah, so, you and what is the reason yeah, behind so, that Yeah, 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 it actually the support from the community and the kind of response uh, and the kind of uh, I mean I thought like what I have what I can give to the community if I will be with the company or someone uh, I will have to always there will be always a situations like make this product uh, premium or some or other force used to come and then other uh, the, the second most thing which uh, gives me a force to do this was the some uh, support from the community and the kind of uh, product and innovation i'm coming up with which i feel like so, uh, saving a, a lot of time and the kind of uh, uh, the things and ideas i have that can save a lot more time for people and uh, financially i will tell you i had to let, left the bangalore because of this covid situation because i was not able to pay my rent so not that is strong i am the only source of income in my family so yeah definitely No, I mean, I really salute you, man. That's just something really, really motivating. Like, people are selfish. People are, uh, you know, nothing is free in this world. And yes. I have seen people having the knowledge, and they really don't want to share without money or. Uh, I mean, it's not about the money all the time because they don't even, not even want to do something for the community. So I always believe that okay, there is always a give and take. Okay, because community and uh, let's talk about Google. Let's talk about Stack Overflow. Let's talk about Eclipse, IntelliJ. All these are open source communities. They have given to us something, right? Yes, Now yes. it's time to we have to give return back. Yeah, uh, right? definitely. So yeah. that is something I really like. Salute you and okay in this thing that okay you are doing a great job in this case. So next question is that when did you start this thing? So see, most of the people are coming from Java background and creating such extensions tools or plugins. 
we really need to know something, you know, uh, complete full stack on JavaScript, different frameworks you need to know about. So can yes. you tell me like, so, other, so that other people also can learn those things? Yes. So frankly speaking, like uh, I come from, I came from chemical background. I'm a chemical engineer. And then I worked on uh, like Selenium Java as others. Uh, and uh, till like, in fact, uh, around four years back, I was uh, like normal as that and used to work on Selenium Java automation script and all. But uh, then uh, there was a time like I was in an interview and then interviewer asked me like, tell me Sanjay about you. So I said, I'm an automation engineer. I used to do this, this thing. Uh, then interview asked me, can you write a piece of code? So I was writing code and I was writing the locators actually. And then there she asked me, okay, okay Sanjay, I'm done. And, and you are calling yourself automation engineer, but you are writing your own things. You are doing own things manually. That that was the point triggered to me. Like, yeah, I mean, actually you are right that I'm automating some other work, but I'm doing my work manually. So from there, I started thinking always like, can we automate this? Can we automate that and everything? Coming to the languages, I don't know. <laughs> that point of time i was not knowing the, uh, like how to develop any extension or something in fact like today at, as well every command or any thing any feature i had to like implement in uh, selector sub or anything i always do the google like you suggested me on that day sanjay uh, implement this uh, error message thing so i i did google like how can we implement this thing in fact like you, this complete uh, extension has been written in javascript and uh, like different uh, other things like etc so all all everything i always do the google first i think like okay what could be the idea what could be what are the uh, things which uh, are beginners our experts are facing day to day life and what tedious tasks they are de doing first i figure out those things then i think okay this could be solved this is possible not possible and then i start implementing and i never i mean i'm not a very good coder or something like that that i'm a geek or something i, I won't be able to crack amazon or google interview so i always do a google uh, that okay so this, how, this is how how can we solve the problem so yeah so it's not but i have uh, seen I um, you know frankly speaking i have seen your uh, code i have seen uh, cropath as well i have seen uh, selector server obviously multiple times the good thing yeah. about that your work is very f you know having very finishing you know that uh, yeah. the crisp thing is there it, it doesn't look like okay uh, you know any a newbie is you know developing something the kind of look and feel yeah. that you provide the kind of work that you do in the background and yeah. uh, you know all the things that the the way you cover it doesn't look that okay any fresher or maybe less experienced guy okay in javascript or in such things okay who is doing it yeah. I, I'm, it's really like quite impressive i have seen your uh, repositories also and then i was like you no know, the kind of code in the things that you are using it i'm pretty much sure okay if you're writing a dirty code a noisy code and if you're writing <laughs> an ugly code definitely uh, chrome also will not accept you okay yes, immediately yes, yes. they will reject yeah yeah they they used to revoke and block yeah so i so take care of those things i always believe in simplicity and the something which looks feel good and uh, like smooth there should not be like okay this also there that also there because then people start annoying and that is the reason that uh, selectors of all the my previous in, uh, invention cropper was always five star rated in the uh, store and mm -hmm. uh, and and the biggest thing like big thing is a uh, big achievement for both the invention is that uh, you see like selectors have been like quite a 10 10 days and it is being the used by those testers those who are testing the uh, i mean everything across the world but still there is no issue has been reported everything is working fine in his phone so we uh, i always take care of those things that both the things go i mean whenever anything any release goes live it has been tested a lot because it is going to be used by the testers and definitely they will test it so uh, i mean when you uh, when you started your career you were always part of into like testing automation or you were in part of development do you have any development background or what exactly your background it is actually no so not much development background i started with an associate system engineer in uh, ibm and then uh, i i mean initially for 5 6 months i was in uh, mainframe in fact like one and a half year two years i, I was working in mainframe then i had training with selenium java like uh, from you guys only and then uh, from q spider i learned selenium java then i switched my job go i go i joined and then uh, initially i started writing blogs and uh, supporting community and from there i mean uh, my career started in selenium and java and the testing so that's how it started gradually growing
I, I used fire path, <laughs> selenium, Java, like anything. <laughs> In fact, I remember I used to do that fire path and fire bug. So yes, when yes. when we started actually that time, and now obviously yeah, it's yes, gone. That <laughs> yeah, that was the time. So yeah. So like I have another thing because a lot of people were asking that okay, how to like how to uh, learn such things? How what is your learning criteria? How do you learn? See, like like me, like I learn you know from the blogs. and i learn from the youtube i learn from different uh, you know get repositories and everything i learn from my seniors like yes, that yes, yes. so how do you yep. learn so what is okay. your learning criteria uh previously it was different now it is different now i'm learning from the beginners problem uh, i hardly uh, follow uh, i mean influencer and all i follow them but mostly i follow and read all the post which beginners write or any um, Anyone who, whenever there, I will, I will see hashtag problem, hashtag mm-hmm. this issue in my board. So I, I used to follow, follow those problems, and then I collect all those problems. Like thousands of people are facing this problem. Okay, so this could be solved in this way. So that's how, uh, I mean, now this is my learning criteria to convert those problem into innovation and then solve that problem for forever for everyone. Mm-hmm. Previously, before that, uh, like when I was in, like everybody is working like that. So I used to follow blogs as well, of course. and uh, whenever i used to face any uh, question or something i used to go a uh, search on google second thing like i used to follow like youtube uh, videos so for anything like like i was i had to create this website for selectors so i was not doing i was i don't know like how to create a website i take the uh, domain name etc so i follow mm-hmm. this, all these youtube videos so i always go which is which are the best videos and I, in fact like i'm sure like people used to search and they found your navin automation labs whenever there is in like automation uh, because i see like whenever i used to go for propath webinar or, or like because last year i had uh, uh, hosted mm. meetups across india everywhere yeah everywhere people used to talk okay so what's uh, we are from where uh, where are you learning so oh you are you, are, you came from bangalore uh, we know navin uh, navin lives there and i uh, we follow the navin automation lab so people are learning from uh, these platforms mostly now and it it i mean previously that time like when we were there like we were, i mean three four year experience these things were not there so that was the issue that time but now we have like everything like api automation java uh, selenium and all those automation platforms you guys have created such a good uh, i mean video content is there, like we can follow each and its steps and solves all the problems so that's really commendable and really informative good yeah i mean we all started like that only and then i used to <laughs> yeah. follow mukesh odwani Uh, yes, yes, four yes. years back, like yeah, I, I used to see whenever you type Selenium on YouTube and Mukesh videos were there. And yeah. I'm like who is who is this guy, man? Like <laughs> then we started, and then we have a different story. We will talk about later, maybe some other webinar with Mukesh. We have a yeah. such a you know starting our starting was like totally different. <laughs> and then we were like people used to think that okay, we are competitor or something like that now, but we became very good friends now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, right, yeah. Right. Anyways, so what is the plan, uh, Sanjay? that is my last question then we can move to a demo part so what is a like plan for uh, selectors hub or are you have anything in your pipeline for next 3 4 years and what yes, is the plan yes so so uh, i mean right now it looks like selectors hub and uh, it is going to uh, solve selectors problem only but just it i mean i have a huge pipeline and uh, i would say like whatever you guys have seen so far or what you will see today that could be like uh, i believe like just 10% not even 10% of the real selectors of which will be coming in the pipeline mm-hmm. and it has phenomenal uh, features which you will see very soon okay great great yeah. great and pipeline and features are huge and in the next release itself i am going to introduce something which will uh, like completely change the uh, means history what we have seen selectors and new definition will be uh, written soon you guys will see okay. and anytime soon i will show you that demo sure sure definitely and uh, very much looking forward to such innovations in future as well so uh, one last question that okay are you do you have any plan for because we have a lot of problems with respect to you know uh, uh, mobile locators either yes, yes. ios or android or do you have something like that in your mind yes 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 actually i'm just uh, solving all i mean um, starting that platform and working on that thing so that uh, can build something uh, which will solve the problem so i'm already on it Uh, mm-hmm. For mobile, Android, and iOS, yes. So I'm already on it and trying to like figure out. I'm doing the POC and everything. Very soon, uh, people might see that that problem will be solved. Great, great, great. 
Perfect, Sanjay. I think uh, these are the questions. Otherwise, uh, we will never finish up this chit chat. <laughs> so yeah. that's okay. So what you do that uh, quickly we can have uh, you know some really interesting examples through Selectors Hub. And sure. if you have any new announcement, I heard that. Okay, even I'm not sure about it. What kind of announcement yep. that you have, a secret that you want to share with us? So definitely that would be great for us. So I think, uh, and then people ask you know different questions or something like this. Guys, we would sure. entertain only those questions. which are you know related to uh, locators or something like that if you are asking some other technical question maybe okay we won't be able to entertain those things right so sure. sanjay now the stage is yours and i will also request you guys like while i will be giving the demo or uh, i will be showing so you must be having so many question you will get so lot of question so most of the questions i have already covered in the ppt i would request you like uh, uh, shoot out those i mean keep keep noted those question with you and shoot out at the last when we will have the q and a session because it, Else, it will scroll up and down, so we'll have to scroll. So that way, we can save our time and time. We will correct. make easy. Correct, correct. Because uh, we have to take care of uh, the timelines also. So Sanjay, you have to share your screen now. Yeah, let me share my screen. Please. Okay, perfect. I can see that. Hope. Uh, just let me know once you can see my screen. Is it better? I can see the banner. Yes, banner. <laughs> Hello and welcome everyone. Again, to the Navin Automation Labs with me and Navin. So you see, like we have a lot of automation tools, and we always have those automated uh, automation tools for XPath, CSS selectors. But when we use these kinds of tools, it is always suggested not to use those tools. Why? Because, like, when there will be tough situations, like we are in interview, then what to write? I mean, how to write the selectors? We don't know. that kind of situation and when there will be complex situations like when we have to write the parent or siblings expert it becomes really difficult for us because we are losing the expert skills i did a mistake by creating uh, introducing some, some invention for the beginners uh, which was causing an issue where people were losing their skills so and any invention should be in this way that can uh, help people to write i mean save their skills as well as their time I did a lot of surveys here. This is a result of a LinkedIn survey. You can see like expert and CSS selectors choice prefer people prefer to write their own selector or their from it move. So almost like eighty percent people prefer to write their own selectors. And in fact, like me, Naveen, or any trainer or anyone for a beginner will never suggest, or for an intermediate who who is not an expert in writing automation will never suggest it to uh, for the ex. Uh, selectors right because then we will not learn then if we have to write a selector for let's say for this element header we have to write a selector how we will write like such a long value class class etc we'll have to copy those values and by copying the, those values many times we are solving i mean uh, like going to the dom and then copy that value then come back and paste in our code that used to take a lot of effort and time you see like if we have to copy this value huge value we will make a lot of mistakes right at the time in 2020 <laughs> this 2020 of course this is a really worst covid <laughs> but but in this era when intellij is there for writing code we are still writing our selectors like we are writing our code in notepad can't we have something really smart where we can write our own code in our way that so that like we don't lose our skill as well as as well as we can save our time on an average how much time we are spending on writing xpath and css selected in fact today many says 5 to 10 minutes some says 2 minutes so on an average we say like 1 and 2 minutes we used to we are spending our time in writing xpath and css selectors and imagine like if you are writing 100 or 50 selectors in a day or some day or in a week how much time you are wasting considering all these problems in mind introducing something for you guys build your own xpath and css selector in less than 5 second without compromising learning skills selectors of innovation inspired automation and this is a code absolutely out of output of community feedback and considering your skill set in that in the mind so that you don't lose any skills and how does it help how it creates the magic you see you just start typing it will suggest you like what can you uh, use for that 
it gives you the auto suggestion because while copying the value from the dom we are not learning anything there we are just wasting the value wasting the time but if we get something auto suggested like you have intellija there we are writing code but that's when it suggests the matter method there we are not losing any skills we are learning there itself like we are saving the time as well imagine like if you will be writing your code today on notepad mm -hmm. i mean when you will complete your code it will be like okay god case so similarly like here you you are writing you are building your own xpark as well as you are saving your time let me give you a live example for this one so for an example if you have to uh, let's say here if you if we have to write an xpark for this uh, selector sub element here so we open this just let me know guys if you can see my screen because uh, just I'll, little, uh, zoom in will be good yeah, yeah. I, I did i did is it better yeah, it's I did for yeah. Okay, so let's inspect this element. This is selector side. Okay, here when you will type, how will write the XPath? In like people say like can't I mean what is the difference in DOM? I mean doing in console or in dev tools, DOM dev tools. See when you will type here like double forward slash key. First of all, it is used to scroll up and down. Okay, so that problem has been solved somewhere. But then if you copy this value, let's say selectors, you see. You will type here text is equal to this and such a value then junk value is there that if you have to copy some other value so a lot of time like now we will have to remove this space by this removing space or by, by typing text is text parenthesis we are not learning anything we are just wasting time over there and killing ourselves let's see the same thing from the selectors up you just type here a you see within blinking of your eyes you will be completing your selectors there you go and this you have written your own selector you see like uh, there is something if there is anything a uh, big x path or some big value is there if you have that you have to type for example let's say header this header and such a long value class is there and if we have to uh, create a css selector for this one as a developer if you have to uh, write a css selector so how do developers do like they in a class they used to remove all the spaces with the body right like this correct that if you have if they i mean they are doing not there is no if and else they are replacing like this today but with the selectors of what you have to do you just put the dot and it will do everything for you this this is like magic and it will save a huge amount of time and effort for you and by replacing we are not learning anything and if you have to create any css selector with id you just type hash here and it will suggest you that so likewise awesome, it, like solve <laughs> thank you Naveen. this is awesome this, this way like you can save a lot of time then uh, then there are challenges like following siblings and uh, parents child and sister i'm sure like none of you guys remember that how many siblings you have does anyone i'm sure do you know Naveen, how many siblings you have never possible like we can't count okay so uh, i have uncle, one sibling my my younger sister i have Yes, yes. So we have, I mean, you know that younger sibling. But what about like uncles, daughter, and those all those people? So, so that way, if we see, like, it is hard to like remember everything. Like, like for an example, if you are, if you are an uh, like newbie or you just started your uh, career in the, in writing uh, writing selectors, right? So let's say for example, we inspected some element like div here okay or or let me inspect here something this li okay we type this li and then something is there we type like this now we want to know how many siblings parents child whatever this has following siblings let's say you ask me how many for uh, what are the following siblings and or you receive you want to create something with following siblings you just type fo it will suggest the siblings following siblings if you want to uh, know the ancestor you just type a and and it will suggest all the ancestors for that it will make your uh, creating those kind of selectors for you if you want preceding siblings etc if those will be there then it will suggest if like you can see so like somebody asks you like what are the preceding siblings or following siblings for this element from this you would be let's say you don't know what are the preceding siblings and how many preceding siblings possible for this element you can learn from here like you just inspect that element then you just start typing here pre 
yeah you will see okay so there is no preceding siblings these are just like text suggestion if you want to uh, type something sometimes just preceding etc whatever so likewise it, it will make very easy to write a selectors for tables etc where you have you are making a uh, preceding sibling following sibling friends parents and sister descendants etc and one thing uh, i would I, i really liked one thing sanjay can you hear me yes yes yes, yes i can so uh, the one thing good uh, see the problematic pro i mean the problematic situation was that when you're working on let's say some really complex application the dom is really bad like dom is very huge right yes 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 and uh, what we have to do let's see there is a complex web table and then we have to inspect one element available in a particular column in a particular dynamic row or something yes and yes then when you open the dom right sometimes what happens yep. okay you have to you know scroll up and scroll down the dom and then you have to keep checking where exactly the element is available and so right, we are right. missing that particular uh, you know html tag over there to highlight yes. so yes, yes. Uh, in this case i think the moment i write double slash let's see td immediately i'll start getting all the suggestions over there so i don't need to scroll up and scroll down my uh, dom structure over there that exactly. is quite annoying personally i'm although i'm very expert in xpath and everything but still i you know this is quite annoying for me earlier yeah yeah exactly agree agree on that point yes absolutely and this will solve that problem yeah and in fact like many times let's say we want all the lis to see and now there are 10 lis we know in this page so we need not to scroll up and down in the dom exactly. we got all the lis here and you know that which lis when you will mouse over you see all the lis are highlighted here and if you mouse over it will highlight in different color and let you know that which li is the which one hmm. here in this and if those li will be hidden somewhere it will uh, scroll that li in the view area as well so hmm. yes lot of good things are there correct 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 yeah thank you navin for adding those points then uh, how to install it selector sub and use it is very simple there is no science just open selector sub.com and click on download button here this you click on download it will take you to the chrome store right now it's available for chrome and there you click on add to chrome it will be added as actually it's already added for me so when you click on this it will be simply added in your browser and i would request you like please restart your browser once uh to see uh, to make it work perfectly because when you will add it to your, uh, your browser once it is required and uh, if you won't be able to see like uh, what will happen like now this is a new feature in chrome that when you will add any extension that extension logo will not appear here directly so you there's a default extension logo this is a default standard extension icon you click on this whichever extension you have added all it will be shown here whichever you want to see here you just pin that basically pin to toolbar then you would be able to see and all the information here it's very simple you just add it and restart your browser it will work like champ then then there are something impossible in the world of web automation or ui web can we verify selectors for shadow rounds elements like elements which are inside said rom mm -hmm. are you really kidding me it is impossible like this is never possible <clears throat> to verify and believe me navin and the audience like how uh, if you guys ever i mean any one of you have written ever the selectors for said rom said roms or written the script for said rom i believe like most of you what you have done because there was nothing to verify selectors for uh, said rom uh, so how do we do that like for this element let's say this element this is inside shadow rom so you can see that if we scroll this inside this shadow rom shadow root and if we have to i'm sure like uh, most of you are aware that shadow rom doesn't support xpath and x or xpath doesn't support shadow rom so vice versa so if we'll have to write the css selector and if we write css selector let's say id is there so what we write hashtag input hashtag input we have it and so zero of zero correct in this kind of situation we were not sure that this selector is right or not i mean this is a straight forward so this is this will be right but there could be situation where it will be like long value so we don't know whether the, this selector is right or not and how we used to do we used to put this selector in our script then we execute the script then we see the script is working or not and then if that selector doesn't work then we again come back and change the selector right different selector then again use it in the script execute that then see so that's how we were verifying the selectors for said rom 
uh, i'm sure like you guys can agree on this point uh, if there could be some other way but uh, most of the people has suggested me that they are doing this way and imagine like if you have to write 10 selectors so set it on my limits whole day it will take you to like every time exclude a script fit then again try then again try then again try and we don't know like in which trial that selector will work that's where we were wasting a hell lot of time but with this new innovation it is possible now in selector sub you just open selectors up tab inspect it for the inspected element it will immediately tells you that in, it is inside server ROM and it suggested that enter CSS selector only as X bar doesn't support so that also it immediately suggests you just type hashtag input and you see the magic here now it is possible so this is the new reality and this is the new history that you are seeing today and you see that this is possible it is highlighted it is verified you can inspect any element if that will be inside a uh, shadow dom or something it will immediately tells you that those elements are inside shadow dom or not correct correct i think that's something really interesting that uh, it will solve a lot of problems definitely yes. because see i'll tell you i'll quickly share one one thing with me what happened a couple of years back i was going for interview and for ui yep. automation i think four years back five years back i was not that expert in automation but i was like okay in automation in ui yes and that company um, they gave me one assignment on shadow dom yes and i, I was like no dude i, I, I seriously <laughs> please give me some other application i can't do it <laughs> And it was like, uh, I tried a lot, some allocators were working and they were just, they just gave me only 45 minutes of time to automate, uh, you know, a couple of scenarios over there. And it yes. was such a bad experience that okay, and it was like, no. I, and after that, seriously, like, I didn't find any really good solution for Shadow Dog. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, so this is how it will work like champ. And uh, for more details, there are videos available, like how Shadow Dog supports and what are the limitations or everything video tutorial is uh, in details available so you can check that out then there are there are situations Naveen, and like we all have that problem like can someone tell me what's wrong in my in our selectors mm -hmm. in my selectors. suppose i just started learning automation and something wrong i'm doing or or while like uh, debugging our script we have copied some selector from our uh, from our script because most of the time in ui automation the script fails why due to uh, selectors only most of the time a script element not found a stale element error or something like that and when we copy that when we copy those value from our script and paste it here in let's say we pasted this value here let me copy this class here Put the class and many times it will happen like we copy just like this value this much value and paste it here and it is showing zero of zero now we are thinking that okay it, locators is wrong we will keep trying to fix this issue but here from the dom you see while copying from the script we miss that semicolon in this square bracket closing square bracket and we can see that 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 is correct selector was in our script and it was an issue in the develop uh, in the website that could be the thing. so those are the miss things missing which we will never learn from here or in fact like Suppose I, we are in an interview and in, an interviewer has given us this kind of uh, X path or he might have missed something like he has completed this X path and he has given it to us and asked us to figure out what is wrong in this X path. Can we immediately like it, will, it? It is hard to identify what is wrong immediately. Like at least it will take at least one minute or two minutes of time to figure it out when somebody is expert and some if someone is not expert, then it will take. Uh, we don't know like how much time it will take. It's up to them. But it is going to solve that problem this is the very first debugger or the compiler you can save for your selectors you just paste that value if something will be wrong in your selector it will immediately tells you that what is missing so it's telling you that single quote is missing okay let me add the single quote enter it is telling you that a square bracket is missing let me add that and there you go so this is a new reality that this is what we are introducing today that the word that you are not going to face any challenges if you're not not sure what are the error what is the problem you don't know what's wrong in your selector everything you would be able to learn from here you need not to look for an expert or need of someone immediately when your selectors are not working you can verify here like something you wrote in your uh, dom wrong uh, in your dev tools that you can verify here and immediately you will be because 
Apple never will suggest that this is a wrong and what is wrong in your selector. It will show zero of zero, and you will think that your selector element is not found. But you will not think that your selector itself is wrong pattern. Exactly. And one thing I would like to add, Sanjay, that uh, see, yeah, sure. uh, I always tell whenever I take training or my videos. Also, I always my uh, you know I tell to the audience that guys, be strong in your selectors. Okay. Exactly. If you are if you are really great in programming and uh, you know you are really good in uh, Selenium and all the Selenium core features and you know how, how to design page object model and everything that's perfect. The only thing is that will be a problematic situation for you if you are really poor in XPath and selectors and CSS and everything. And if you don't know how to create a good XPath or how to create a a complex XPath for the complex web tables or for React application or for Angular application, that will be a big problem. I personally yeah. faced this particular problem in my, you know, uh, you know, early stage of my career, that I was right, really right. good in programming and the logic and everything, but I was like, you know, lacking because that time no automation tools or I mean the videos and all those things were not available. You just need to do experiment right. and then you have to learn. And right, right. Uh, that's why like, I always say that okay, if you're really good in your locator strategy and if you're really good in you know how to create a proper expert. That will give you a lot of confidence in any kind of UI automation tool. Either it is uh, uh, Cypress also, or maybe Selenium or WebDriver IO or Protector or whatever. Because the locators things will remain same for all the UI automation tools. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. We always will have to like as much as smart you are in writing selectors, and I mean more uh, knowledge you have on your DOM and your about selectors. That means you will be that good you are an UI automation engineer because frameworks and anything is always written and they are always in place because you most of the time hardly you will get a chance to introduce write a framework from scratch but you have to write on a daily basis you will have to add the test cases but right. there you will have to write the selectors and you have to are, update the you have to update those test cases if exactly. they're already written and those test cases got you know uh, need to be updated why? Because there are new pages are there, and nobody's taking care of those automation. And then your manager suddenly saying that okay, hey, you have to fix all the locators. Why it is breaking? Why it is not working? Why we are saying okay, getting no such element exceptions and everything? And then you have to involve if you are really good in XPath or CSS, then quickly fix the problem and then uh, execute and run it again and make them pass yes. immediately. Yes, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Navin, for adding that point. Then uh, apart from like what's missing in your X path or CSS selector, it also tells you what is allowed, what is not allowed, and what you should write. Let's say after a square bracket, we wrote something. We we don't know that every time we when we are writing X path, we have to add forward slash. Or by mistake, we missed that. You see, it will suggest you that after closing a square bracket, only forward slash and square bracket, open square bracket is allowed. If you are writing something wrong in CSS selector, it will suggest you that what is wrong in your CSS selector. Let's say we started writing CSS selector here. And guys, whenever you will, if you will start writing CSS selector, it is smart enough to understand that what you are writing, you are writing CSS selector or you are writing uh, XPath. So if you will be writing CSS selector, then it will suggest CSS options only here. You see it is highlighting CSS. If you start typing, uh, X path, then it will suggest X path option, and it is smart enough to understand what is what you are trying to do, whether X path or CSS. So don't be confused that it is not suggesting everything to you. Uh, it is suggesting only those options because it knows that you have, you want to write the CSS. So let's say you started writing CSS, and by mistake you added something wrong. So it will tell you that what is wrong. It is invalid selector. Only square bracket, open square bracket is allowed. Now it's not suggesting you that forward slash. So it is helping you to learn about selectors. It is making you perfect. So that is the beauty of this uh, new tool, selectors of this new innovation. And that is where people are going crazy. If you read about, read the review, read the testimony, and that what's magical behind this tool and all. So that is the beauty of this tool that it's helping you a lot to learn and build your uh, own selectors. And such a Without, one more thing I would uh, advise you that I think uh, you did yes. that thing in Crowpath. I have seen that. What exactly you were doing in Crowpath that uh, the moment you are getting the selector, right? Let's say XPath or whatever, and you are generating driver dot find element by dot XPath also. Right? Yes, yes. For yes. the that I won't prefer actually. Yes, that yes, is yes. making a bad habit for the audience, for the people, for the users. Yes, I yes. I don't want because see you know it right. Practically, we never write driver dot find element. Exactly. For only exactly. for practice point of view, we just write the main method and we write driver dot find element. 
right but when right, we work right. in the framework in the real time uh, real time projects right we create the utility yeah, we create the functions yes. and the wrappers and everything yes so we never write driver dot find element we have one common method and then we will be passing the by locator so right, i would right. advise that okay that please don't introduce that thing driver dot find element let's not make it too much heavy yes let yes. people to write driver dot find element or whatever they want to write they just need to copy yes. the things that's my opinion actually yeah yeah sure 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 definitely definitely i hope other people yeah. also agree with that Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Navin, for that point. Yeah, definitely, I will uh, take care of that. And yeah, yeah, that's good suggestion. Yes. Okay. So, uh, moving on. So these are like a couple of uh, I mean, error messages. All the missing things, what could be missing, and what all allowed, and it help you a lot to learn new things. And question comes like a lot of people ask. about the security because in most of the companies it is suggested that um, or people are afraid about like whenever they talk about uh, for uh, extensions to use extension uh, security extensions are not secure so let me tell you guys and promise that this is the most secure plugin is it safe or not to use selector sub it is 100% secure and in fact this is the most secure plugin the region being said that it inject the script inside your browser when you will open selector sub tab like if it is closed and you open any website let's say something you open it is not going to inject this script inside your browser until unless you will not open the selector sub tab here it will inject or interact with your website when you will open it while other extension which you have installed in your website in your browser as soon as you open any website they have injected the script in your website already no matter whether you are using them or not but with the selector sub it will inject the script or interact with your website only when you will open the selector sub tab basically saying that it perform or do any actions only when it is when only when you want to use that it doesn't save any user data it has no server nothing it runs only on your local environment whatever stats or something you will see from my site those are from the chrome store so, so those are just like normal standard selector sub doesn't have any server doesn't fetch any user data it's more secure plug so don't worry about that and it is absolutely safe to use and there's no license required does it slow down that uh, yes. uh, let's yes, see sir. in some companies let's see especially like uh, we have like finance based companies or banking application or the things are very uh, you know uh, secured over here and they don't allow you to download the extension or something yes so uh, how to convince or do you like do you yes, have any advice for that yes 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 navin yes so uh, so what happened like uh, uh, like many most of the time like with my previous product as well uh, people has made make it like uh, white listed by showing them the uh, like by showing them the policy privacy policy of the product so like it is mentioned here what are the policies you, you can see the privacy policies and what it has written this, this is a free product no secure and everything so this you can show and if you need anything written from my side that who is the developer of that product and whose product is that so you can take a written uh, approval from my side that i'm not uh, saving or fetching any data from this uh, tool that you can uh, show it to your uh, admin and they will approve mm -hmm. it if by this time so that's how that okay is. yeah oh that's good okay yeah and that's how like many many companies has done like open path so many many people has done the same way and it i mean that's how it uh, because they they can approve only those extension or a browser extension which will be uh, given the approval that this is we are not saving any user data or anything we are not stealing any data so we will have to give them in written somewhere Mm -hmm. uh, thanks navin that uh, you asked this point good it will help many to understand that does it slow down my browser absolutely not because sometimes we feel that as soon as we add uh, extension in the browser we got that feeling oh this got slow down because of this so it could be some other region that your internet is slow or you have open many tabs it could not be at all this case that because of this extension your browser gets slow because uh, i'm using the same thing and i tested it a lot uh, in fact uh, navin did a lot of used a lot this extension and this i guess there's no performance issue 
uh, and the, the uh, fact region is that uh, the same region is that it doesn't in interact or inject any script until unless you want to open the, this uh, extension tab and it is the smallest in the size it is very much optimized just 250 kb less than 250 kb in fact like 220 kb i guess mm -hmm. and there's no performance issue because of this okay and uh, i would request you all please share about this and do add your review and thoughts uh, about it and if you have uh, any review comments feel free to reach out to me and as i mentioned this is not even 10 percent what you will be seeing in the in the coming future and this is absolutely free to use there is no license required request you all to make a, a small donation if, uh, to support this innovation and this will help me to get livelihood for me and my family this i'm working full time on this product only there's no other uh, i'm not work, working for any company or something like that this absolutely free product i'm working on and i will be running through donation yeah Support i would like to add this point here sanjay that uh, i would yes. request to all of you that uh, you know the way you are supporting Naveen automation labs by seeing my videos and everything see i think guys we have to support such people like sanjay who is dedicatedly working for uh, you know only for this particular tool for the community and see it's all about we say that okay yeah maybe he's having its passion or something see passion is fine but passion for others that's something i think really i really appreciate that and the moment he told me that naveen i'm not working anywhere and i'm just going to full time i think you're working somewhere right earlier with auto yes, yes, or yes. something that yes, comes yes, yes exactly sir. so now you are not not even employed somewhere and then uh, still you are working for the people and this uh, you know in this crisis in this pandemic situation and then doing some innovation i think i really appreciate that i think i would request all of you that guys whatever you want to donate right just for a okay i won't say it's a charity or something which is whatever you donate for the innovation for the tools technology that he is giving he is providing to us i think we should support him definitely so that he will be motivated and definitely it's a you know good for us actually in future we will be getting more and more features in this particular tool Definitely. And there are like, this, not just this tool, uh, I'll be uh, having more ideas and working on something amazing, which you guys will see more tools. And yeah, definitely. And thank you so much, Naveen, for the support and kind words. Yeah. And not just the like uh, this donation, you can support me anyways. Like you can write blogs, videos, and share with the community so that more people can uh, get benefited from it. That is also a motivation, a lot of motivation for me. Like, because when people will start using it, I will feel good. And when they give the feedback or request for future features or something, so that is really helpful. And what are the kind of support you need from my side, like where and how to contribute for Slack to serve on a bug and you want to report it, want to discuss anything with me to improve or not for how to use Slack to serve, want to raise a feature request or want to uh, add something from your side in the Slack to serve. So guys, there in the Slack to serve tab, you will see the, uh, okay. So there in the selectors of tab, you will see the footer in the footer. All the imported links are there. So you see uh, that homepage link, download for browsers, video tutorial link is there, Slack channel is there. You can share it on Twitter and follow on LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. If you have any issue or found any bug or there is any feature request or anything, that you can raise it here. And if you want any design or something like that, all the PR and everything goes here. So you can raise here. I would request you that there is a review add review button is here that please click on this and one, one review can help me and motivates me and you can found it and hardly it will take five ten seconds it is going to save you a whole lot of days of time so please give just 10 seconds to this to great here in chrome is chrome store and then here you can find the like the sponsor and those people who has donated and you can be a patro here so already a uh, lot of people are supporting here so you can one time payment or patron whatever you would like then the time for the day exactly and one thing like one thing also i would like to uh, request to all of you guys that people are whoever is using this particular tool or any tool technology or video or whatever that you are watching and using a specific tool guys <clears throat> you have to see the hard work that person is doing for you guys right that uh, in fact i also uh, you know face criticism sometimes you also must be facing that okay someone is giving one star review for your tool or yes. something like that and it feels it feels bad the moment yeah. they see any mistake in your tool or in your video or in your uh, program or whatever 
immediately they'll say okay one star and you are a shitty guy and then i don't want to <laughs> refer this thing so guys yes. please try to spend he is also a human being you can raise a question you can advise that guy that okay in the form of comments or mail also you can do that ask that okay hey please try to contribute in that way also that is the i think the maturity we all have to get it that okay yeah instead of criticizing or something like that better we advise and okay and suggest something that okay can we improve this thing can i get something from you like that i think that will the better approach instead of you know giving a one star rating or disliking something over there yeah that is like uh, thank you so much navin you highlighted this point uh, i want to like give you guys a uh, more real time uh, inputs on this like the region uh, what navin said is like very valid point you see like no matter if we if i got the 100 rating here with a five star if one guy will give four star rating it will immediately like from five star it will immediately comes to four star and it will never go uh, it will take me again like a lot of offer to get that their five star one star less rating i mean it will not cost even a single rupees or anything <laughs> to you but it will be like very painful for me to uh, reach there and again to keep maintain that if you have any feature request we are here to solve that problem i'm here always available 24 by 7 and in fact like we see that these kind of videos what uh, navin used to create and all you put believe me guys it is like kind the kind of effort goes there because i created one video this video tutorial it took me whole day and i i salute navin like what kind of effort he is putting there in providing the content for you guys like where he used to create the, like hours of videos and so many videos are there all the free videos <laughs> this 10 minutes video take took me whole day to create now i can uh, imagine like what kind of passion and what kind of effort navin is putting over there so making any bad comments or anything that means of course suggestion is always welcome but review giving by while giving review you, you uh, please consider our effort as well and what you are getting because uh, i mean we we guys are not uh, we are working really hard for you guys we are not forcing or asking i mean there is nothing you have to pay it is your wish that you want to pay or something or support but request you all yes be kind and be supportive we are here to support you guys only like me i left the job like navin is supporting like anything working day and night yeah thank you navin for the, that point Perfectly. Yeah. So yeah. And <laughs> this is the moment, and and for which we all were waiting today. Surprise! And guys, believe me that who all are there on the call, and who all will be seeing this, they will be the uh, the witness of this history. And wherever you will be going, and wherever you are today, in every company and everywhere, you will see that it will be being used. and you will be proud that i was the part of that launching event that today you saw that it was available for chrome and today i'm taking this opportunity and launching selector sub for opera browser we did a lot of survey and uh, with that people were crazy that we want for this browser that browser and uh, why it is for chrome only so i was like working after the just 29th of july i guess we launched uh, right now so if i'm not wrong 29 july we launched for chrome browser and from that day every day i was getting a lot of messages everywhere that we want for other browsers this is amazing in my company this browser is not allowed that browser is not allowed i just just use for opera so here it is and wherever you will be going in future or wherever in which ever company you are working in ui automation it is going to be used but we are not stopping here now it's available for edge browser awesome thank you navin and i'm sure like you are you guys uh, because this is for like uh, most of the people those uh, most of my friend uh, friend who are working in microsoft every day were like Sanjay, this is awesome product, but we want for Edge browser because we are we have just a lot of website and everything on uh, Edge only Microsoft Edge because that is the new reality for them and they are working on that. But then there were like most of the request. I did a survey actually on uh, LinkedIn and Twitter. If in fact I guess that should be there already, where people were like, uh, we want for uh, for Safari, uh, Firefox only, Firefox only. and then uh, so i guess where is that survey gone 
Yeah. You can show the so, survey later. First, first you announce the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so people were asking for Safari uh, Firefox browser. So here it is, guys. And I'm sure like most of the people were using Safari, like any uh, sorry Firefox. I'm saying Safari again. Sorry. So Firefox browser. And this is available on all the platform. You just go to your website. Uh, here. At selector sub and refresh the page, you will find it for all the four browsers available. You can just download for whichever browser you want to use, and it will be available. Same version will be available. I will try my best, work hard day and night, and make sure that you guys will get the same version at the same time on all the browsers so that you don't feel like okay, one version is there, another version is there. And believe me, guys. Like, like effort, like effort, anything, hell lot of effort has gone to make it support on all the browsers with the same UI, with the same features. For when we see or when we use, it feels like okay, it's very simple. But when we uh, when we actually uh, write the code or something, that's where it takes a lot of effort. It's not that easy because some of the browsers support some other APIs, like Firefox doesn't support the same API, but Chrome supports. So it takes a lot of effort to build this and to make the same. And you can just add it here. You see that once you uh, add it, I would request you to restart. Let me show you just one uh, example here. Yeah, then one demo on Firefox here. Yeah. Just one demo on Firefox. Here it is added. Everything is here. You just open and you. And guys, when if you after adding, if you don't find select sub here, it is always like on the left side you will see the DOM. On the right side there will be sidebars. So in Chrome as well in all the browsers, it is used to hidden. So I would request you either you click on this arrow icon here, so it will be the last step, or you just expand it to the better view. And if you find any issue or anything, I would request you guys please at least Google once, or else at least search for like. Where to find the uh, like selectors of uh, in the Chrome in the dev tools? Immediately you will get the answer. Don't get panic or don't worry about it and don't give the bad review that uh, it is not available in my browser. It's always there, just like a small effort from your side. And then immediately you start typing and everything will be ready here. And it works like Chan, like uh, like in Chrome it was working. And one more very important point: what happened? Like most of the time, people what they do. Let me show you in Chrome. As soon as you add the extension, we open the new tab, and we feel that we have opened the Google.com, and we will start using selectors up here. Extension here. This is guys. This is a blank tab. This is not the Google.com. This is a blank new tab where there is no address bar. So I would request you, you please open the Google.com, because for blank tab extension will not work, and. I'm sure, like you are not going to automate the blank type. Uh, not going to test your web. This is not your website. So please open this required because selectors are required the DOM, actual DOM. So there uh, we need that, and it works for offline as well. Like if you have any local HTML file, that also it works. It also works on incognito mode. Let me show you how. Uh, like to make it work on incognito mode, you will have to allow the permission here. Let me show you. Uh, okay, one second. Isn't it, everything is documented, right? Like in computer yes, mode yeah, and everything. Yes. It's right. Oh yeah, yeah. So I guess yes, you are right. So that you, I mean, you go here and all in computer mode and file everything you allow. So yes, so yeah, that is all documented. So guys, yep, this is what. And with that, today is 12th August. You can note the date and my heartfelt gratitude and thank you all. Big thanks to Naveen for hosting this. <laughs> <laughs> and making it possible. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, Naveen, from the bottom of my heart. I and guys, uh, you all like reach out to me. You can follow me on, uh, connect with me, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, anywhere. I'm always available for you guys to support. And with that, thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. A really, a big round of applause for you. So uh, I think I saw a couple of questions. Let me just yes, uh, quickly see. Uh, I will stop sharing my screen. Or, or let me see. So a couple of question people are asking that okay, can we use and operator or operator? Yes, uh, yes, okay, yes. With XPath and everything, you can use it. Yes, right? yes, yes. Yes. So you can use the and operator. Let me show you. <coughs> I 
here like you are writing here input and let's say class and you want to use and operator here and then after that you want to write something that class or something like this so this you can use and or whatever you want to write you can use it uh, yes navin uh, navin could you please read out uh, read out the question so that i can just give uh, i think yeah so yeah i can just quickly tell you and then yes. better you just answer those questions quickly so rashid is asking selector hub supports selenium 4 locators okay rashid see there is no selenium 4 or selenium 3 the locators will remain <laughs> same in selenium 10 also okay. yes after 20 yeah. years also if someone is uh, uh, developing mm -hmm. selenium 10 as well the locators yeah. will remain same always the feature of the selenium will be changed but the locators the strategies will always remain same okay then uh, someone is uh, asking uh, what are uh, yeah yeah go ahead please uh yes navi uh, sorry uh, i just forgot to mention that it supports iframe as well as the svg elements as well so like yeah. if something is inside iframe it will immediately tell you that that, that element is inside iframe so you just inspect that it supports iframe it shows that inside iframe there you can uh, inspect that if any element is svg element it will tell you that this element is svg element like this here immediately tells this will be like uh, this is the next release which i am showing you in which you will get this otherwise as we elements by default is there like because uh, many of you must be aware about that this uh, svg element uh, doesn't support by dev tools if you and the standard pattern of xpad doesn't support the svg so we have to write like this if we write double forward slash path that is not the correct pattern correct format of svg elements xpad and if you verify this in the dom that is also not supported in dev in fact like if you right click and copy this uh, xpath from here from dev tools that is a wrong xpath that is not the correct you see zero of zero so here you can make it, make it and it will show you and this release guys in which you will get get this svg uh, this one which you are seeing it, it will be live in one two days but otherwise like it's uh, svg and everything whatever you see is working fine correct correct one guy was asking about let me take this question or maybe you can also add something it supports canvas also see canvas according to my knowledge that is html5 uh, canvas api they introduced in html5 and canvas is a whole soul a kind of uh, img element image element kind of thing just just behave like in uh, you know we cannot create uh, sub objects in that particular canvas so canvas uh, can be created with the help of create js also or there are multiple js uh, uh, you know frameworks are available according to my knowledge so for canvas that's a different approach i don't think so canvas uh, we can let's see there is a calculator or maybe something canvas or some flag is there so you cannot inspect the flag uh, circle over there or calculator 1 2 3 buttons over there like that you cannot do that so what you can do you can, either you can use a robot classes or you can use the uh, maybe you can use the coordinates options also you can use move by offset in the actions class and then you can do that on the basis of the x and y offset you can do that but i don't think so for selector uh, sorry for canvas sp specific elements inside the canvas we don't have any locator strategy for that am i correct exactly exactly very well said navin mean, very well said so guys uh, i mean exactly i guess uh, whatever navin said i'm just going to show you that live that canvas anything which you want to for which you want to write the locator that should be available in the dom right so you can see that these are the elements but this is a canvas now you see that canvas is like as navin mentioned i'm just giving the demo for that that this is a image right this a image but here in the dom for it is like complete that thing now we cannot inspect that j q right so for that you will have to use like as navin mentioned uh, you will have to use your code etc we can't write the locators for that locators is for something for which the dom is available dom and dom that should be available thank you navin yeah then we have a paper couple of people asking that okay uh, is it supporting any mobile browsers as well yes very very good point very good point yes it supports all the mobile browser all the web browser in the mobile as well you see you click on this mobile icon here and your website goes on mobile and now you inspect and uh, here and it will support like like same way it was supporting on the web and here you can write so it's the same way like because uh, i'm sure like you must not be writing uh, selectors on mobile you will be doing this way right uh, i'm sure like everybody who is watching or whom sort of question it is you will be selecting your mobile here and then browser which your browser firefox or this way we used to toggle right now we and then you can uh, you can inspect yes 
it works for mobile mobile browser mobile app it is not here for mobile browsers and so yeah one more thing that um, uh, is it giving you different combinations also i mean it is supporting elements or only web element so just uh, like we have chrome uh, dev tools may right that we have one of 10 or one of 20 we are getting it if you are getting uh, multiple combinations yes right let's see under ul we have 10 lis so is it giving yes, you yes. 10 or what uh, so under like there are like if you have if we have type double for okay 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 you are asking for that we will if we will type the following siblings no no, no i'm not asking about the following sibling i'm just talking mm -hmm. about let's see under ul i have 10 lis okay right mm -hmm. Let's say, let's see, inside the yeah, inside the select tag, I have uh, ten options are available in the yes. drop down, yes. and then the moment I write in the Chrome Dev Tools, a moment I write a double slash 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 options, I'm getting one of ten. I'll use it in my driver dot find elements by dot xpath, and then the moment I do it dot size, I'm giving I'm getting ten. Is it supporting yes. find elements also? I mean, uh, is it giving one of ten or it's giving you only one? No, it will be giving 10. Like you see, the, I type double forward slash UL and uh, single slash LI. It is giving me all 10. All 10. Okay, options. okay, okay, okay. I didn't notice yeah. that. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. Yeah. <laughs> it will give the all the occurrences which are there. So let's say, for example, somebody asks you how many links on this page. So you just type double forward slash A and it will give you like 40 links on this page. Okay, that's great. So that is the most uh, asked question in any in, in interview. Correct. And uh, guys, any drawback? Someone is asking any drawback of this tool. Uh, you can say that it's not giving the right now. It's not giving the auto generated selectors. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, someone is asking how to handle dynamic XPath. Okay, let me take this thing. See, guys, yeah. dynamic. This is dynamic XPath only, right? Whatever you are getting, there is no. See, what do you mean by dynamic XPath? Dynamic XPath means, let's see, whatever the value that you want to append in your XPath or you want to use some different locators or properties in that particular XPath, that is called dynamic XPath. Let's see, from the uh, from the UI, you are getting the live score for Virat Kohli. He scored 30. And for 30, you want to uh, check that, okay, yeah, XPath is correct or not. So from the API, you are getting 30. You are appending in your XPath. Okay, text is equal to 30. So that is called dynamic XPath. So definitely, if you are writing the right XPath, it will support. It will not give you the dynamic, whatever the value is getting displayed on the page, it will give you the exact value. Okay. Then in the code you have to use, you have to manipulate accordingly. So that is the, you know, that is the concept of dynamic XPath and definitely it will support. Yes. So we yes. have, a, is there any opportunity for automate windows based application do you have any plan for windows based although the market is very limited but you have that or not yeah uh, so uh, right now uh, i would say no like a straightforward answer but yeah in future it might be just i may try to uh, explore that as well but right now no. Mm -hmm. okay any plan for internet explorer <laughs> Actually, uh, guys, if you see that uh, there are like a lot of news from the Microsoft itself that Internet Explorer is going to die anytime soon, and they have launched the Microsoft Edge browser. So, so that is the region that, uh, and there, there is, uh, I mean, rarely there is a support for Internet Explorer about the extension. So that is the region. But I can give you guys a good news that it will be available soon for Safari browser. Oh, so that's a good yeah, thing. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good announcement. Another announcement making it here today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. So um, I think see, see guys, um, whatever the people are asking that okay, it is supporting, it starts with, ends with, contains, text, position, last element, first element, nth of type, everything. I think most of the things that we have already covered that I have already practically yeah. I have also checked it. If something yes, is yes. missing, so please feel yes. free to contact yes. him. And he just, yeah, yeah. You, you see, he guys, just need to uh, add. Yeah. As, as Naveen is mentioning, like anytime if you feel that this is missing, feel free to reach out to me. You just let me know that this is missing, Sanjay. Please, add. I'm like more than happy. Immediately next day, you will get it. Like you see that whatever you are seeing, a lot of improvement has been done. Like uh, you see that the day on the day when I launched Selector Sub, uh, this option was not there. Like 
uh, he, this expert was not there. Then somebody suggested, Sanjay, please add this so that like we will know that whether this is expert options or the CSS. I immediately added it. So, uh, so feel free to leave me, just bug me anytime, Sanjay. This is missing. This is not working. Fix this. Fix this. You have that ownership to bug me anytime, ping me anytime. Uh, right, right, right on anywhere, anywhere to me, tag me that, me that Sanjay, this is missing, please add it. I'm more than happy immediately, like in one, two days, you will get from it. Correct, so correct. you have all the right, bug me anytime. I'm here for to serve you guys. Perfect. And guys, if you really want to uh, let me know also, you just let me know if you have any suggestions, if you're not yes. able to contact to uh, Sanjay, just put yes. a comment on my channel or on Facebook page or Telegram, anywhere. Yep. I'll yep. just collect those things and I'll inform to Sanjay immediately after that. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Thanks, Sanjay. Uh, I think uh, someone is asking how to overcome DOM changes in case of finding elements by using siblings, etc. Sanjay, you want to take it? Uh, the, yes, yes, please, please, please read, read it again. Hmm. How to overcome DOM changes if any DOM changes at the runtime mm -hmm. and uh, how will you identify those elements? Okay, Especially, okay. let's see, for Ajax component or something like that. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, so guys, um, whenever there is an element like immediately disappear, so there you have to play smartly. Like what happens? Like uh, there, there are like a lot of calls in the background has been written. So there we, you either if you are smart enough, if you know that how to stop that element, then it's fine. Or else, always take a help from your developer. There is a point where, where we have to uh, like work with our developers. Ask them like how can I stop this element here in the DOM so that it immediately it won't disappear. So that you can handle that element, you can write the selector for that element. Then you know that when uh, in while uh, performing any action on that element, when that when that will appear, right? Because I know like when I will click on donate, then only it will take me to the that page, and then I can perform any action. So similarly, like there are many elements which used to appear on the hover, or there are many elements so uh, which used to disappear immediately, like runtime down which you are asking. For that, there is a call whether that should be disappear in one second or two seconds. So I would uh, suggest you that increase that time from the console or from the source code here for in that file or else like you take the help of your developer like how can i stop so because everybody has different different kinds of code and different different call how to uh, like make a delay over there to disappear and then you can uh, write your select that's all perfect uh, i hope Navin that's right like, yeah that's that's a exactly thing yeah is it uh, help to someone is asking to inspect pop-ups alerts or banners okay see yes, pop-ups yes. alerts I'm talking about the JavaScript pop-ups. We cannot identify, I think. JavaScript pop-ups are the alert. These are the JavaScript pop-ups. We cannot take the X part out of it. But if we have any model dialog pop-ups or something like this, or advertisement, uh, yeah, something like this, definitely we yes. can inspect this. Yes, so you can uh, like inspect these kind of pop-ups. And uh, I guess, I mean, Naveen immediately covered that thing, that those alert pop-ups, you need not to inspect that. You, you, you uh, I guess you know that alert class is there so that you can accept or deny anything. And this kind of alert you can inspect. I mean, this kind of pop-up, basically, these are not alert. This is pop-up, so this you can handle. <laughs> OK, uh, Sridhar is asking one very good question. And then I think I would like to add some point, and maybe definitely, Sanjay, first you cover this question, that based on the feedback received uh, from the most of the people, I see only one complaint. In, in stack, it's not a concern. Is that people will become dependent on this particular tool? Please cl clarify. Uh, what so, do you think about uh, it? <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is something like uh, uh, I would say like uh, whenever there is an innovation or something comes out, we don't uh, we don't become exactly dependent on anything. Let's say let's say uh, takes an example of wheel invention of wheel when the very first time that wheel was invented. We became dependent on that, but if we, if we would have not used that, we would be always be like very slow. So, I guess everything, any every innovation or every new product, are we not dependent on Chrome browser? What if like Chrome died tomorrow? What if like LinkedIn is not there tomorrow? If LinkedIn died tomorrow, so any product, so we are actually like. Uh, COVID is there. We know, don't know like who will die tomorrow. So actually, whenever there is something, 
so uh, it is like we have to use it so that's why this innovation is there that uh, it is going to it is not going to uh, uh, make your skill worse like you will be learning from it so you always have that skill right so it is not going to harm anything and whenever there is an innovation so dependency is like I believe like this question is for every product for everything in the world. Like if we will use that, will we will we become the dependent on that? Isn't it? Correct, correct. And and I would like to add that is uh, my personal opinion. That's why like um, you know because you have seen my channel, that guys. Um, the kind of things that I always believe that okay, first of all, it's always it should be an open source kind of stuff. Plus, it should be innovation which will help you to learn. not to make yes. you comf- not to make do in the comfort zone that was a problem i don't want to criticize anything but that was a problem somewhere with the cropath but with selectors up i see that okay see it's just giving you the suggestions it's just giving you the auto suggestions that what yes. is wrong what is correct and what are the different suggestions you can do that and it's not fact, going to create the expert yeah. for you it's yes 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 yeah and so it's not fact, going to create the expert for you it's just giving you the suggestions that but to learn those suggestions also i would advise you you should have a basic knowledge about the expert in css i'm talking about a, let's see for example css selectors i know that okay for id i have to use hash for class i have to use dot so you should know at least some basic features about expert in css and then you play with this to quickly just copy paste and use in your script yeah yeah well said well said. right and in fact like uh, when there is something like once you become smart enough to uh, do anything then uh, then you then you play around like with anything right and then you save your time to learn something new like once you become smart really smart to like let's say you learn something like let's say you learn tomorrow car drive after one two months you become really smart then you need not to uh, keep learning that thing every day you learn driving something and you start learning swimming by i mean by saving that time you learn uh, start learning python so that's how like any tool uh, the purpose behind any invention or any tool is always time saving for you so that you learn something new so that we all are evolving like anything uh, i believe like i mean this is my personal opinion that every single thing is an automation tool from the linkedin website facebook uh, this any any other website like amazon flipkart these all are automation tools isn't it like let's say suppose uh, flipkart amazon and all these e-commerce website are not there then how we will buy the product we will go to the market we will do the shopping offline shopping so we are wasting time in traveling and all all that stuff selecting the product but here we are sitting at the home and we are just clicking on the button so this is what all these are things are doing these are saving time suppose linkedin is not there then how we will be communicating with each other how we will be ser- searching for the job we will be knocking knocking door company companies door like do you have job for me do you have job for me so th- this is again a time saver and automation so that's how i see the, see any innovation or any tool. correct correct so i think uh, one last question i think a uh, couple of people they asked this question that uh, which one you prefer uh, css or expat i know you play with the ui locators all the time and uh, yes. what's your preference and the the same question like related to the same question that uh, which one is faster then and then i'll give my opinion what is my experience css faster or expat faster or it's a myth okay so <laughs> actually like when i was there i um, mean those kind of browser which were not on the javascript and like all this uh, when they were having the different engine that time it was matter much the css and xpath there you can there we there the people who have worked on those browsers you not know, they might have experience the performance issue but today i um, mean frankly speaking there is no uh, nothing is there to measure the performance and there is no lag there is no perform much performance issue i guess there is not much, i would i wouldn't use the i shouldn't use the much word there is no performance issue because all the browser engines having the, uh, like js engine and all so like chrome firefox and edge browser edge the new uh, edge browser which is on uh, chromium so there is no nothing but is your choice and yeah sometimes people feel like okay we should write the css selector uh, reason being said that like why css people feel that it is faster because uh, most of the time people, when people write the css selector they write with class or with id i mean dot class name 
or hashtag id so why it becomes faster why we feel that it, it is faster because immediately if id is there if class is the unique class is there immediately it find that only but in case of x path it has to like when we write the double forward slash and we write div double forward slash div so first it will traverse first it will fetch all the div okay these are all the div then it will go for the attributes like what attributes you have written now it will look in all those divs for that attribute which that div has that at so that is the region theoretically like i would say this is my person i, I didn't read it anywhere so so that is the region like uh, where it could a little bit issue but in practical i don't think like you, we will Correct. ever be able to identify yeah so i would say <clears throat> one line that uh, it's a myth <laughs> that xpath is slower than uh, css and yes. uh, and uh, in fact you won't believe that uh, xpath is somewhere faster than in fact much faster than uh, css you can do practically you can check it and there is no in fact uh, not a single fractional second difference also you will find that okay, xpath is slower than maybe earlier 5 7 years back that that time we were having a internet explorer where the browser javascript engine was really bad and still it's like you know that <laughs> and that time maybe the xpath was very very slow on that thing but yes. uh, if you see all the modern browsers the kind of uh, uh, chromium and the chrome dev tool the kind of development is happening behind the scene and the kind of engine that okay they are preparing for that for js and j5 and i think uh, that's uh, amazingly good which is quite quite faster the support xpath and sometimes xpath will do magic guys for you especially <laughs> in terms of web table uh, whenever you have to uh, you know do the uh, sibling concept whenever you have to do the backward traversing xpath will support you 100% whenever you want to inspect the span text or something we don't have as such a backward traversing available in css right so it's a myth according to me practically i have seen that it's a totally myth that css is faster than xpath or something like that right right well said well said okay maybe i think one last question we can take and then i think it's already 11:35 so someone is asking anything or uh, related to locators guys that will be locators or browsers things and if you have that that will be good uh, i didn't get the question sorry navi no no i'm just asking that okay maybe we can take the last uh, last question if someone is having some really interesting yeah, question yeah. with respect yeah, to yes. locators yes 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 please yes. so uh, wiki that we have already seen right now it does not support any native ex- uh, native app xpath for mobile Maybe in future, yes. Sanjay, uh, you can plan it, right? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pratik, it will support for Shadow DOM also in Chrome. That's yes, not an issue. Yes, it's in all the browsers. In all the browsers. In all the browsers. browsers. Yeah. Yeah. This is a Shadow DOM. So extension will work on VPN. Any limitations for VPN? I mean, I never tried, but no, I tried actually. Yeah, today I tried actually. Okay, I was connected to my fun. office VPN, and then yeah. it was working fine. Yeah, yeah, it will work. So simple, Funda guys. Uh, there is nothing like no science or anything. So you right click if you find, and if you are able to write here in the dev tools or the DOM is available. That means uh, it will work. Select your subsource work. If you find any issue, then you please let me know that this is not working for your website, and that will be an uh, that will be headed for me. I will solve that problem for you. Mm-hmm. It should if your website has the DOM and you have opened the URL here in the DOM, here in the address bar, that means it should work. There's no dependency that your application is uh, developed on React or anything or whatever. It should work. If it is not working, please do let me know. I'm more than happy to help you. Okay, good. I think uh, Sanjay, that's all that we have for today. And um, thank you so much for uh, joining this session. And uh, that was such a nice uh, demo. a nice discussion that we had it today thank I you know so initially much actually that was uh, some okay some logistic issues but now oh, i think it's perfectly fine <laughs> and i would uh, you know uh, request to all of you guys please support this particular uh, extension this particular tool this is uh, sanjay is doing really amazing uh, job for this particular product he spent a lot of uh, uh, you know day and night he was working like anything for this particular tool and he's very dedicated person and he's very active and he's very close to this particular product and i think we should all support and respect uh, sanjay and this particular tool and uh, please uh, donate and the donate button you will find on his uh, website over there please donate whatever 
amount that okay you want to donate for that particular thing that will uh, really motivate him and really support him okay so sanjay you want to add something uh i would really thank you navin and thank you all for joining and uh, uh, and uh, i have like uh, one good point to say like whenever i see that, that this this content like everybody used to um, so many people used to ping like where to learn this how to learn that so i would request you guys uh, like uh, whenever you uh, have these questions so in place of asking people directly i would certainly recommend like you subscribe to navin's channel and there are like uh, almost like i have seen a lot of content and the videos or everything is already available like uh, can i uh, sanjay can i uh, i mean i'm a manual tester i have got last week so many questions that i'm just started learning uh, automation testing from manual to i'm converting automation where to learn the java is here or oh, sorry selenium java and api automation so guys it's all the content is already available here please uh, do subscribe to his channel and support him and uh, i would request you all that uh, add the review for selector sub and we all are here to help you guys and we are working day and night you see that uh, it's uh, already so late and uh, really thankful to all of you for the joining today and we have created history and you all were the witness today wherever you will go in the future and wherever wherever you will be working you will be seeing this whatever you have seen today perfect perfect and perfect, yes, this uh, is the yeah. new reality guys sure and uh, one more thing that uh, i would advise to you know request to not advice i'm not the right person to advise to all the youtubers uh, who are running this uh, ui uh, you know automation channel and all the trainers all the training institutes i would advise you guys to all the trainers that guys please start preparing some content write some blogs about it promote this particular tool it's from our community i think we should all support it very soon i'm going to prepare one more video uh, one special video for uh, selector sub on my channel it will be available so that everybody can learn as soon as possible and uh, please all the trainers all the freelancers or all, all the training institutes everything on all the youtubers please prepare at least one video on selector sub that will uh, really really support to promote this particular tool yeah thank you and that will uh, help people to reach out to the like people uh, those who are like i uh, mean many people doesn't know about uh, we didn't, they didn't get to know like these things exist and they keep struggling and they keep wasting their time so yeah it will really help them to your students and everyone to know about it yeah please perfect so thanks again and uh, thank you so much guys for joining that's too late in india but yeah that is a dedication that thank you so much that you all have shown us to us so yeah sanjay i think uh, shall we thank end you, now thank you so much yes yes, yep. yes. so big round of thank applause you. for uh, sanjay and uh, and the future definitely we will we would like to have you you know we would like to collaborate you with sanjay and uh, selectors sure sure navin any time you can call me yeah. let me know yeah. uh, like whenever your audience and you want me to give any live yeah. demo or anything i'm Correct. more than happy to like have this session sure sure yeah perfect so look guys take care thank you so much and thanks sanjay once again and good night and take care thank you thank you so much everyone thank you navin bye bye good night yeah bye